If you follow this program, you became pretty good at writing prompts. And maybe you know that your prompts can be reused. Maybe you have some use cases that you need to do all the time. Maybe you always write social media posts, or maybe you often have to write essays or business plans. Well, you may be wanting to find a way to store your prompts and reuse them in the future. This is when a prompt library can be really helpful. A prompt library is nothing more than a place where you can store your prompts and easily retrieve them, find them, and adapt them to your next project. I'm gonna show you one very simple example that you're going to be able to download as part of this program. It's a simple Excel sheet, as you can see here. And we have divided your prompt into two different parts. The meta prompt, which is the structure of your prompt, and the inputs. This is the specific application that you wanna work on today. So in this case, this is a case for email marketing. And we have this meta prompt. Act as a professional email copywriter hired by this company. Company details, a Academy is a company that provides practical education for not technical people who want to play an active role in the AI revolution. I will give you a message that the company wants to communicate, you will write an email for them. Optimize the email for conversions, use a professional concise tone, and make sure you highlight the value of the product offered. The inputs required, I wrote here, there is message and product details. In this case, let's say that I want to communicate that the Generative AI Project Bootcamp is about to start and students are so excited. And let's say that I want to add some product details like the Generative AI Project Bootcamp is a two month long program where people learn AI by building their own AI project. Now in this Excel sheet, those two things are put together into a final prompt. Then I can copy this. I can go on ChatGPT or any other tool that you want to use, paste it, and we get a beautiful email that is perfectly aligned with our message, with our tone of voice, and with the structure that we wanna have for our emails. Now, you can imagine how those prompts can become even more sophisticated, but if you manage to keep them all nicely organized in a structure like this, all the effort that you put the first time that you write a big, long prompt is going to be readily available for you any other day in the future. Those prompt libraries can become even pretty sophisticated and complex. Imagine that you have different use cases. Maybe one is email marketing and one is social media copywriting and one is personal productivity or a brainstorming prompt. What you can do is add different tags, different use cases, so that you can easily filter them and start using them. And if you work for a team in a company, those kind of prompt libraries are really useful to share between colleagues the work that you're doing. This is gonna help others get up to speed with generative AI, but also get inspired by the kind of prompts that other colleagues are writing. Maybe you can be a trendsetter in your company. You can study your own prompt library, start sharing it in your team, and get people excited, and get people to get the same amazing productivity benefits that you are getting, so that everybody can enjoy this amazing technology.